I'm coming up on time a little bit. Let's delve into chapter three right quick. And chapter three was the idea, I'm sorry, chapter five was the ideology chapter. Did y'all have any questions about anything? And it actually is chapter five up here, forgive me. But do you have any, any questions about any of these terms from ideology? Oh, uh, the proletariat. Proletariat, we just went over that. Oh. That was what Willie just asked, and I know it's on the tape. What else have y'all got? Uh, communism, exactly. What? You know, we didn't deal necessarily a whole lot with communism. Um, we did talk about the race analogy, where I had drawn the starting line and the finish line up there, and I had said that in a capitalist system, everybody starts at the same starting line, and if you remember, they get to go as far as their, 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 their talents will take them. However, in more of a communist society, it doesn't matter where you start, but everybody can finish at the same spot. And I think what we had talked about was, in a capitalist society, everybody doesn't start at the same starting line. So some people may not ever reach the starting line in their life. However, in a, a more communist or socialist kind of a situation, if you limit how far people can go, you take away their incentive for wanting to go at all. So both of them are flawed. It's just whether you're flawed at the front or whether you're flawed at the back. Liberalism, and if you remember, I had given you all the belief quiz. Make sure that you're comfortable with bedroom and wallet within the context of the belief quiz. How much government should regulate economics, how much government should regulate morals, economics be in wallet, morals be in bedroom. And if you remember on this, uh, liberals believed in regulating... Uh, Here, there's a term on the, the... wallet. They believed in regulating the wallet and staying out of the morals. Conservatives would believe in... Regulating the morals. And staying out of... The wallet. And then libertarians... They want to stay out of both, and then the populists. Oh, they want to regulate everything. They wanted to regulate everything, and and make sure that you've got some some examples. You know, like I think we talked about abortion, or we talked about school prayer, or we talked about weed, or we talked about the idea that everybody should be taxed the same. And just to give you some ideas, the traffic article dealing with the earthquake and the tunnel. Remember that. That was the one that was from California. They were going to build a tunnel that would drive through a mountain that was very close to a the fault ball. line. Yeah, make sure you pay attention to that good example of liberal because the glass, glass is half full. We can make things better. I had given you all conservative with the Jim Crow laws. They were interested in conserving society as it was when slavery was going on. Make sure you have some examples of some of those Jim Crow laws. You know, uh, not being able to shoot pool at the same table, play baseball within a few blocks of each other. You remember white woman couldn't get her hair did by a black barber, this kind of a thing. Yeah. Make sure that you're comfortable with those. Baseball two blocks away. Yeah, whatever it says in that article, but make sure that you're good with those. And then, um, Libertarian, I don't believe I gave you any articles, but Populist, I gave you a lot. There was the Hugs article that y'all hated, Hugs article from New Jersey, make sure you're good with that. There was Wolf Hawk, you remember Wolf Hawk, the sex offender, the double rapist and sodomist who had his kid taken away in Pennsylvania. And then there was TT, the HIV positive prostitute in Texas. So make sure that you're comfortable and all of those articles are posted. Kevin, you had a, a question? Oh, uh, there's a term that classical liberal. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm not going to get into these moderns and classicals and traditionals. I'm just going to focus on some basic stuff for this because it's just introductory. But, um, you know, and I, what I may also do tonight is I may go in there and post a couple of quotes from pages that I read quotes from from the chapter. I don't have those in there yet, but I may put some in there tonight. Maybe take a look at those. So if you get a question about the difference between liberal and conservative, make sure that you can give me an article. You know, make sure that you can give me bedroom and wallet. Make sure you can give me rural versus urban because we've been talking about that for a while. Or that article from the doctors, you know, how they would advise somebody uh, if they were conservative about an issue about abortion or how the liberal might are advised dealing with drug abuse, you know, these kinds of things. But, but these articles are posted. And um, feminism. There was Inez. Feminism, there was Lexit. Feminism, there was Barack and basketball. Do you remember I had given y'all the article about Barack as the closet sexist? 
and the closet sexist article was talking about how he had uh, blah, 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 blah. He had um, made comments about the attorney general in California. So make sure that you give a good look on these. And I'm not asking you to agree, but what I'm just asking you to do on these is to make sure that you're comfortable with some of the messages. And it looks like I need to put the closet sexist article in there, but I'll get that one in there. What about the, the football team? Is that better? What's that? The, fo the football team. What about the football team? Uh, the one where the lady was wearing the That's the, outfit. That's the lady? Yeah. Yeah. Clothes, yeah. yeah. That's feminism, That's yeah. Feminism. That's feminism. And that is the one that was wearing the really oh, okay. tight, yeah. revealing clothes. Yeah. And I put several articles up here about her. The one was the article, I forget who had it, that actually explained what happened. And then the other one, I've just got it called in here, Inez Analysis. And it's the different writers talking about the double standard. And this was the one that we, we had kind of gotten into some disagreements about, as I recall. And if you remember on this, this was Ashley Fox from ESPN saying, hey, you can't flirt. Hey, you need to ask knowledgeable questions. You know, and hey, you need to present yourself for the job really that you want rather than the job maybe that you have. That was the Inez analysis one. And uh, we spent a lot of time on this one Thursday when Ishmael was not, was not here. Um, any other questions that y'all have about stuff? Culture we hit on today quick, and it was just a simple definition. Public opinion we hit on today, which was a, a simple definition. Yeah. And then most democratic and least democratic, I will add the article that says the United States is 138 out of 169 democracies. Maybe you remember that one today. And I'll make sure that I've got the Anthem article and the uh, Castle Doctrine article and the Chick-fil-A article. And all of these were basically today or last week. Just to make it real quick, political culture, you said it's would stay, and then public opinions would always be changing. Yeah, yeah. Ideology, when we were talking about it, is what each individual person thinks will take me from where I am to where my ideal is. So ideology is going to be oftentimes more of an individual kind of a thing. When you begin to add up all of the different ideologies, you start coming up with political culture. So this is going to represent a bigger group than actually just one person's ideology. And when you get 300 million people together, it becomes harder and harder to change political culture because you've got to change so many people to do it. Public opinion is more like issues. So you could be conservative, and maybe you're against abortion, but maybe there are some differences in abortion law that you might be okay that this should be allowed to be passed, you know. Um, but it's still, you're still conservative or you're still believing a certain way. It's just there could be on a particular issue, it could be a little bit, like a little a, bit different. Like a Chick-fil-A article? Or? What about the Chick-fil-A article? Is that like public opinion? Chick-fil-A article is probably, it probably, you, if, you def, if you explain it the right way, it could probably be either culture or opinion. Probably, and I wouldn't put you in a position to explain that article that way, but you know, whether it's the Chick-fil-A article or whether it's the, the gun article, give me both sides, you know? And I know that Sean had the gun article today. We didn't necessarily talk about reasons not to shoot, but, but Ishmael did and Alex did and, 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 and I think Lindsay, you did. So when you put this into context, there'd be some ways that you could but tell me both sides on these, why it should be legal, why it shouldn't be legal, and then ultimately make sure you tell me who won, because that's kind of a big piece too. Uh, can you explain the unitary system? Unitary system and federal system. The United States has a federal system where we have multiple levels. A unitary system is basically saying that there is one level of government that runs it all. So in a federal system, you know, we got Maryland government, we got federal government, we got Montgomery County government. Well, in a unitary system, there's really just a federal government for all intents and purposes. And I think I had mentioned to y'all France and how the French Minister of Education used to say by looking at the clock, I know every verb they're congregating conjugating, I'm sorry, conjugating in Latin class right now just by looking at my watch because we have structured education so tightly, I know what they're doing at any given moment because there's not any other levels of government. There would just be one national government. 
pretty, pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah. Now there's some other little things that help, you know, the yeah. national government do what it's doing, but it doesn't really have like decision making ability. Yeah. It's just implementation kinds of things. Make sure that you're really, really good with the articles because, and I'll stress it to you, the terms are going to be a lot of multiple choices. The articles will be some multiple choices and there will be a good chunk of, of short answers that come from them. And a lot of the questions that I'll deal with will be something like, you know, explain the controversy. Um, it could be, that's a big one. You'll see explain the controversy an awful lot. Maybe you need to compare a couple of things or what's the difference between such and such and such and such, you know, unitary and federal like we were just talking about. And, you know, give a good reading through the chapter for the terms because there's page numbers for them. But also make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure that you're comfortable with these articles. And really, really be able to tell the story. Because the review session will be a start, but there's more that you can do for this. So really, really show me what you know. Okay? All right, Lindsay, if you'll hit it.